the National Resistance Movement is a nationalist organization. It is a nationalist uh, in the sense that it is fighting for the aims of the whole country and not for aims of a section of the country. Secondly, the National Resistance Movement is a democratic movement. It's a movement which is fighting for democracy. What else can we do if, uh, if you have got a government which has closed off all other channels of uh, peaceful change? What else could we do except to surrender, to resign ourselves to slavery? And we couldn't do that. They're very much worse than they were under Amin. Because under Amin, first of all, Idi Amin was not killing uh, people outside the intellectual class. He didn't kill only the, the, the elite, elements from the elite who were threatening his position. Or sometimes uh, over rivalry, over business, things like that. But he never taxed the peasantry. But about is killing everybody. I want the world to understand this. The people of Uganda, the population, did not start violence. I was not a soldier, I was an intellectual. Why did I become a soldier? I became a soldier to defend myself and my people against state-inspired violence. People were killed in 1964. Our, our people were killed in 1966. Our people were killed in 1969. Amin killed our people from 1971 to 1979. Milton Obote killed our people from 1981 to 1985, and the military council has been killing our people even recently. They went ahead with their old game of killing Ugandans. Since the signing of the peace agreement, uh, they had killed up something like 400 or 500 people, whose names we could lay our hands on, names and uh, places of birth and things like that. Now, we found that if we didn't act, first of all, there would be no solution to the Ugandan political crisis. There would be no solution. We would go on endlessly with the same cycle of violence and uh, regimes which don't do any work. Secondly, we, we're also in danger of the people misunderstanding us, thinking that we have abandoned them and we are not working for the interests. And they have had so much faith in us, we could not afford such a thing. In Africa, we have seen so much change that change has become meaningless. It's no longer change, but merely turmoil. This group getting rid of that group and that group doing worse than the group it got rid of. Now, please, I do not count us in that category of, of people. The National Resistance Movement, I think, is a clear-headed movement with clear objectives and with good membership, with good membership. I think it makes a very big difference from the situation in which we were, where the very people in power were they themselves encouraging evil instead of trying to combat evil. I think this, this is a slightly different situation. I put uh, everybody under the law. In a minute's time, people were above the law. Some people were above the law. They could kill with impunity. Now everybody is under the law. I have uh, re repaired the economy, and Uganda is getting modernized in its production process. Yeah. So these are my fundamental. That's what I stand for.